we are doing my May Facial Club Facial, which is a gold facial. We're using real 24 karat gold today. What I'm gonna have everybody do is go ahead, if you don't have your little card, make sure you get your card. The things that you need are your envelope and your little product bag. And see, I use all the same things. I prep one for myself too. That way I have something to touch and play with the entire time when I'm doing all my demos and promos and stuff like that. If you are somebody who is not part of the facial club and you're joining in, what you're looking for today is a cleanser, some kind of exfoliant, a moisturizer, a serum, and a mask. Everybody has their kit. Have you taken a before picture? If you have not taken a before picture, make sure you hop off real quick, take a before picture, at least one at the front, though I always prefer one on the side and the side, that way if you send them to me, I get a better picture of kind of what's going on because a lot of times, even though we don't do a heavy amount of um, facial massage with this one, you'd be surprised that even just the manipulation that I have you do, especially with like lymphatic, you see really radical changes. You'd be like, oh my goodness, I'm like I know. And then I kind of really tell you like what you should be working on for yourself. So if you at me, at your skin fitness expert, when you when we finish this and you post them, I will always try to get back to you and tell you what I see and how you can like make changes to yourself. I really like to make sure I do that for everyone. Okay, let's start with the cleanse. Go ahead and get your little bags out or get your cleanser out. It's gonna be, you're gonna go ahead and get number jar number one, which is the pumpkin enzyme cleanser. And the pumpkin enzyme cleanser is one of my favorites. So you'll see it in the club a lot because it is one of my favorites. Also, this one is Ella London's facial and she loves this one and it's also yellow. So that's all, that's all good because everything in this facial is yellow. So what you're gonna go ahead and do is wet your face. Everybody's gonna go ahead and wet our faces now. We're gonna go ahead and use some warm to lukewarm water. And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna tell you a secret. I literally just washed my face a second ago because I just did the foundations of facial cleansing for the Skin Fitness Club that is going up after we're done here. But I wanted to have crazy makeup on for you all so that you knew how to use it. Um, and I got crazy pink hair from doing that. You should have enough to do two facials with this. So you probably don't need the whole jar, okay? So you can either pour it out a little bit or I just used like half of it, I already told you. <laughs> so you should have enough. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go like this with your hands and you can go fancy like I do. It's just a habit at this point. You can just go like this if you want. I also like to just add a little bit more water. Once you're like this, I really want a good froth going. This will give you a really nice froth. So if your froth isn't looking like this, froth again. Tricks of the trade is you really wanna get your froth going on your hand before you hit your face. Good froth going, okay? And then we're gonna froth up our faces. So what we wanna do is we're gonna start with the middle of the cheeks in circles and their circles going outwards, outwards. And then we're gonna come across the forehead, across the forehead. And you notice how my body's kind of shifting back and forth. Go ahead and just allow your body to kind of shift back and forth. So it's actually my body is like a tree in the wind. Oh my gosh, I already feel this mask, this cleanser doing its job. Who else, if you're using your digestive enzyme out there, is like, whew, I can feel this working. I feel it working, working. So we're coming across. And you're gonna give yourself a light to medium pressure. So you notice that you can see that I'm getting a little pink, right? So I'm giving myself a light to me. Light pressure is just like, I'm barely touching myself. Medium is I'm actually hitting the bone a bit, right? So light to medium pressure. And then we're gonna come down to those temples and we're gonna circle onto the temples and we're gonna circle backwards. And believe it or not, that does matter. All right. And if you are getting some drainage like I am, it's because we were just massaging <laughs> that sinus cavity. Backwards, backwards, backwards. Same pressure. All right. We're now going to come forward. You're going to stay on this bone. Hey, do you have brows? It's always good to see you. You haven't caught, you haven't missed very much. Catch up, put some cleanser on, come forward. Coming around in circles. So it's going to be, you're going to be light through here on the bone 
as you come up to the as you come up to the midline here you're gonna go ahead, press hard light press hard light press hard light press hard so you want to give yourself harder pressure because we've now done kind of a medium we're kind of amping it up remember if you start getting dry that's what the water is for all right so we're light pressing hard light pressing hard light pressing hard and you go at your own pace going fast does not make it better so whatever pace if this is the pace that you need to feel that you're like got your pressure is proper that's okay listen i'm a trained professional i can do this all day long like i can do this at the right pressures all day long okay this is what i do for a living all right so if you're like, this is the speed that I have to go, that's cool. If you can only do one hand because two is too hard, that's cool too. There is no right or wrong. This is your time. I always say this is like CrossFit. If any of you guys ever done CrossFit, this is your time. The only person you're going against is yourself. The only person who's getting this benefit is you. So I want you to be successful. So you just do you, all right? The only thing I don't want you to do is get hurt. So the most important thing is that pressure is light here, up to hard over as we go through here. And it should not hurt, so don't make yourself hurt. All right, so you should feel some swallowing, maybe some drainage going on. That's good. We're now gonna, as last time was, we come up and around, we're then going to kind of come down and then just light, light pet outwards. And it's okay if you touch your eyelids a little bit, it's fine, all right light pet outwards and just imagine i want you to actually imagine this that like stuff that's inside your head is just kind of draining outwards our mind is a powerful tool and if we think that it's draining down it's going to good times we're gonna do the same through here and this is going to become a medium pressure medium pressure so it's coming through the sinus cavity, and then you're gonna come down to the bottom of the earlobe. And what do you have to do if you start getting dry? Put your hand right on, because I just had to. All right, we're doing awesome, guys. You are nearly finished this face wash. Now, people ask me all the time, is this what I would have to do every day? No. You can do this three times a week, one time a week, once, once a week is perfectly fine if like that's what the time you have if you wanted to do this every day you could but you don't have to it's fine right all right here we go almost there almost there all right so we're going to come across our lips and this is just a medium pressure as well medium pressure outwards and i'm going to stop at the ear at the ear at the ear at the ear and you should have pretty good slip here right you should have pretty good slip not too much drag we want pretty good slip here okay if you're getting swallowing you're doing the right thing this is mostly about lymphatic people I want good lymphatic we're now gonna take our hands we're gonna take the tips of our fingers and we're gonna push outwards from the middle of our lips under our cheekbone backwards now for you you can do this as hard as soft it is as comfortable for you what you're doing is you're giving yourself a little jaw massage backwards okay a little jaw massage backwards all right so keep your jaw relaxed it should be slightly open a little bit relaxed <laughs> you totally get the circulation going exactly this is a mild cardio right little mild cardio that's happening. And everybody's gonna get a little bit different pink. So I don't get as pink with this one. This is super mild for me, because I do this so often that it takes a lot more for me. You might be getting really pink because you don't do it as much, and that's okay. That means your skin's like, this is amazing. This is like for me doing stairs, or like running, right? My, I'd be like, <sighs> right? That's what it would be like. like but for me, this is more like, oh, hey, I'm just going to walk in a park, okay? It's like, what is? So anything is different for everybody else. Okay, so 
we're just like sculpting along that jawline. All right, just make sure you're comfortable. This is should be very comfortable. All right. The last thing you know is you notice where we're from the top to the bottom. The last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take our our hand. It looks like this. Boop boop. It looks like a stapler. In fact, it's called the stapler. <laughs> All right, and we're literally gonna pinch. So this thumb is gonna pinch under the jawline to the top of this finger, which is gonna pinch along the top of the jawline, and they're gonna meet together. Dun, dun, dun. And it's gonna be, this one always, by the way, feels super uncomfortable to me, because I'm a grinder. So, uh, so you're gonna go ahead and just kind of pinch backwards. Oh yeah, good times. And pinching all the way backwards, all the way back, until you reach this part of the ear all right so guess what it's all the, all the way along the jawbone duh okay we're good going along going along going along going along going along and we're gonna do this five times on each side Mm-hmm. and i do do this one at a time for myself if you want to do these both you can for me it is too uncomfortable i cannot so this is once again this is where you make choices for yourself Oh my God, this is so uncomfortable for me. I do this all the time and it's super uncomfortable. I believe I'm on three. Oh goodness gracious. Oh, and if you have a spot that hurts extra, you can stay there a little bit longer. It just means you need it. Remember, it doesn't have to hurt to work. Harder does not mean better, okay? I have a client, she's not here to watch and to have watch and listen to me talk about her. Though she would literally laugh out loud if she knew. She sent, she sent me pictures of her all bruised here. She's like, I think I did it wrong. Like, I think you hurt yourself. Um, doesn't have to hurt to work. You don't need to be bruising yourself. All right, we're coming backwards. We're coming backwards all the way along that jawline. Everybody's doing good? Everybody's doing good. I know you are. You guys are doing great. So surprisingly on me, this side doesn't hurt as much. I mean, it still hurts. Not as much though. So do you have a side that hurts more than the other side? Think about it. Do you chew on one side more than the other? Hmm. Hmm. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. So you should be working five on each side. And once you're done, which this is my last time coming across. So this is going to be your last time or close to your last time. Or maybe you're ahead of me. Who knows? Okay. So the last thing we're doing is you're literally going to take, you're going from the front of your fingers to your palm and it comes like this so front of your fingers you're coming along that jawline and you're pretty deep you're pretty deep and then your palm presses in as your fingers pull you along that jawline and that's what you're doing okay so do we have that so I know it looks weird so it looks like this and you want to keep that you want to keep it relaxed you want your neck relaxed so it's coming along that jawline. If I only had a younger job, this was gonna help. Okay, and then you pull it along, all the way along. You're shaping, you're shaping that jawline. Hey there, Skin Guru. Skin Guru has joined us. She is amazing. She is magic herself. Yes, she is. Okay, so we're gonna do that five times too. Here we go. And we're pulling and we're shaping. And you notice that you at the end, that you're gonna come up, right? So that palm comes up and shapes that last little end piece, all right? And you should notice as you do that you start getting what is called the angle of beauty. That angle starts happening because you're making an angle. You're making an angle, oh yeah. All right, come to the other side. Hello, Luca Monster. I'm glad you were able to join us. No crying here. Hello. I guess we're all very excited for Skin Guru. Bunch of her fans are like, oh, we're all fangirling. Okay. All right, here we go. And you're, you're, you should be hitting all your lymph nodes right through here, guys. All these lymph nodes are sitting here. Okay, cool. All right, guys. So you should notice, I already look better. I already look better. Hopefully you look better. I know that I look better. Okay, so we're gonna do one last piece. So these should start looking better already. Look at our jawline coming together. You're all looking good. So the last piece we're gonna do is we're gonna do this middle section. This is the most important section that you have to be careful of, okay? So we wanna make sure our hands, we get the soap off our hands a little bit. 
I like to just tap them off a little bit. I just don't like too much soap on this one. I slip too much when I have too much soap. So we wanna make sure that we hold here. So what we're gonna do is this is where our collarbones meet, right? We wanna hold where our collarbones meet. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna stretch it up and we're just gonna slowly extend it. And then let it down. And we're gonna do that two more times. So a total for three. Wanna make sure everybody's okay with this. Do not overstrain. This is an area that tends to get really tight on people because we're all like text necking, text necking and being weird, okay? So we're gonna hold right where the collarbone meets. You're gonna pull it down. You're gonna gently come upwards, right? Don't go backwards too far. It's really just a, like a tip of the head up and the chin is coming up. And then you're just gonna glide your fingers up and give it just a little bit of traction. You're not pulling really hard. It's not a hard pull. If you are doing a really long pull, it's not about going cray cray, okay? Slight. It, so if your neck is like this, it's now just like, it's not whoop, it's just, that's it. All right, more does not make it better. And then maybe just breathe into that and then we're gonna drop it down. And you'll notice that suddenly it just looks longer, prettier, nicer. All right, we're gonna go rinse our face off. Let's do that. Rinse in our face. Remember, we're looking for lukewarm water to cool water, especially with this particular facial. All right, and we are going to make sure that all of the soap is really off. I'm actually nice and squeaky clean. And what do we do, guys? We've been with me a bunch of times. We just tap off. So we're just gonna tap dry, right? We're just gonna daub, daub. We're daubing. We don't wanna take too much moisture off because we need some of that. We need that hydration still on us. Okay, so. The next thing people are following at home at the Skin Fitness Club, we have a 302 enzyme. This is a really strong enzyme. So if you're at home and you're using another enzyme, an exfoliator, something like that, use what you have. If you're following with me, you're gonna go ahead and pick up number two and know that this is kind of a strong enzyme, okay? So you have a couple options with this. If you look into your envelope, okay, you have a couple little pads, all right, a couple little pads. You can dip one of the pads in and wipe it around if you're concerned with having like extra sensitive skin, okay? For me, I don't stress out about it. I just stick this bad boy on. So you only need half of it probably. And I just dump it in my hand, train professional style, right? Train professional style. I rub it around and I pop it on and you're going to feel this probably. I feel it. Do not get this into your eye. Keep it around the eyebrow onto the bone. So this is an avocado, what is this, an avocado enzyme, like a uh, what is it, a, uh, I'm having a lot of trouble talking today. I worked way too hard today um, on other things. Way too many videos I shot. Um, it is a peptide, avocado-based peptide with a um, papin enzyme, which is a fancy word for fruit. It has fruit in it. And you might get pink and that's okay. So what else are people using at home? I wanna know what else you're using at home for <sighs> What else you're using at home for what you're doing? And if you don't feel anything, that's cool. I would just say that means you're dead inside. It's cool. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it just means that you have a skin type that you just don't feel this. And that's totally fine. Some people feel certain things and some people don't feel anything. Um, I have a cinnamon enzyme that I feel nothing. I get beet red and feel nothing with it. I put it on my clients and they're like, oh, what's happening right now? Right? 
go ahead and rinse your hands for whatever you have on them because you don't want to make you know you know you don't want to have that all over the place. And I'm gonna go ahead and set a five-minute timer for this. You're, you're dead inside, Sarah. You really don't feel this. I really expected you to. Are you getting pink? Oh my god, I feel so much intensity right now. I'm actually talking to not notice what's happening right now. Okay. I'm not getting crazy flush. A little bit flushed. I'm getting a little bit flushed in places, but not too crazy. I'm so like marching. Does anybody get else get marching ants feelings right now? Like they want to like scratch their face off. Um, who else is using what at home right now for their enzyme? So you could be using an enzyme. If you want to be using a manual exfoliant, you can. Um, maybe use that manual exfoliant for like 30 seconds to a minute, right? Um, but if anything else, we're gonna do this one for five. Pink is happening though, right on. That means you're getting circulation. So when pink happens, that just means you're what's called vasodilating. And just like when you do cardio and the blood supply starts happening, that is what happens when we get good blood supply going to the face. Also, if you have like this marching ant feel, it's because you have all of that, all of this is happening, right? It's just like the heart is beating in the skin, right? So all that blood supply is going. And we kind of want that for the face because the more blood that is brought to the face, the more stuff is available there for when we put good stuff into the skin, the the things are there to go take them back into the skin and do things with them. Lots of things are doing things, but we want all that stuff to happen. I have a lot of feels right now. So usually what I do when I'm in a treatment room is I fan people during this point or ask them how their kids are, or how their dogs are, and I try to make them not notice what I'm doing to them because this stuff can be uncomfortable. I know a lot of people also use like steam and stuff at this point, which actually when you use steam on people's face, they don't notice this as much because there's something blowing at them. I mean, like, you go like this, air is moving. You don't notice what's happening. So just so you know, I have a timer going. So we have two minutes left on what's happening. So what do enzymes do? Enzymes are something that they eat away at dead skin like Pac-Man, all right? And I love the Pac-Man analogy, though I sometimes worry about getting too old where people are like, I've never heard of Pac-Man. But luckily, we still know what Pac-Man is. Thank, thank goodness. And so Pac-Man, if you think about it, it's this game that has all these little balls on it. And balls on it are just like what dead skin essentially looks like hanging out on your face. And enzymes walk around and eat the dead skin. And essentially, once it's gone, just like on a Pac-Man board, it's done and it stops. And how it knows to stop is it hits water and it's like, yo, I'm done, I'm finished. So unlike a manual exfoliant, which we could actually just keep going forever and eternity, we don't know when, it's, when we're actually finished, but enzymes do. And that's why I like them so much. They're my favorite kind of exfoliation because they know when, they're kind of like self-limiting. They know when they're finished and they just stop. So. Maybe unlike me when I'm like, mm, but I just want one more chocolate and I just keep eating the chocolate and then I'm like, oh, I'm so full and I ate too much. They're like that perfect person who's just like, no, I'm good. I have like one little bite of chocolate. I'm good. I'm good. I'm not that person. I don't, I don't know how to do that. So like mm, all the chocolate is delicious and I wanted all of it. I want to try all of them. Okay, guys, we have 30 seconds left on this and who has the redness kind of gone da down a little bit on you, Sarah? Anybody else who's doing their thing? Make sure if you're doing a manual, make sure you take it off. Make sure you keep yourself blotted and hydrated because we're gonna be putting on our serum next. So make sure you prep your serum. I do like to make sure I prep my serum. And for us, our serum is a quenching serum that has hyaluronic acid and gold dust in it plus a tiny bit of that avocado peptide enzyme in it. So different kind of enzyme. This is a peptide enzyme that goes into the skin, activates other things to happen that helps you nourish your skin. So gonna be amazing, gonna love it. That is my timer. Okay, we are gonna rinse this off. It's really important that you rinse this off well. We wanna make sure that everything is off of this, all of it. So what I like to do is if you don't have a washcloth, Rinse it off really well and make sure you use at least one of the pads 
to really wipe it down. If you didn't use your other pad, you can use both, but usually one will do the job, okay? But if you have a washcloth at home, use a washcloth wet to wipe yourself down with. I never do because I hate laundry. So that's why I always give people the pad. All right, let's go ahead and go down. And lukewarm to cool water on this. And we do want to make sure that we're keeping the skin cooler at this point. Okay, we want to make sure it's far too hot. Like that. Okay, so cooler, cooler water. We're looking for cooler water, okay? And you should notice that your face feels so like soft and slippery like it feels just like an ice skating rink like it's like so glidey and soft and pretty and then what i do is i put it in the water i squeeze it off so it's still wet and then i just come around and i just make sure especially my eyebrows i always like to make sure i go on the eyebrows any of the creases across my lip hairline anywhere kind of like I call them my blind spots and as an esthetician I'll tell you where your blind spots are eyebrows <laughs> this corner right here crease of the nose above the lip line under the lip right there right here along this jawline all right and then I kind of just feel around my face if it feels too slippery I know that I've still got product there but that all felt pretty darn good Okay, throwing that away, and then I'm just gonna blot off. Right, so we're gonna tap anything extra off, and I'm looking really good. So, now we're getting into the heart of it, people. The good stuff is happening. If you have a serum and a mask, I want you to go ahead and prep those. For everyone else who's following along, who's got their gold, Skin Guru, you might have like gold sitting around. If you do, pull out your 24 karat gold. Do it, man. We're doing a 24 karat gold facial. I know you probably have some sitting around. I know, cause come on, we're hardcore, we're hardcore. You know we just have them sitting around. The hardcore. <laughs> Rachel Beauty, heck you might have it just sitting around. Do you have gold sitting around? You don't? No, you know you do, come on. You have like the snail filtrate and the gold just sitting around. We all do. Um, I gave you, Sarah, and everyone else who's part of the group, and I have like, I think three of you are, are here. I think three of you, yeah, I think three of you are here. Um, you have two sheets. You can split this into two facials or you can go all in and do two pieces. Okay, it's your call how you plan to do this. Um, if I'm in treatment room, depending on the size of the person's face, I use one to two pieces. Most times I could use one. Sometimes I'm like, your face is huge. I'm gonna use two pieces, that's how it is, all right? We're gonna put the serum on first, but I like to make sure I have my gold out ready to go. Okay, make sure it is on a dry piece of area and that it is in a safe location. The gold is the most expensive part of this facial. It is also the most delicate part of this facial. Okay, and I'll tell you, it's where everything goes wrong and weird. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get our serum out and you can use a spatula, a Q-tip, your finger if you really want to. It's always better if you use a spatula. I'm gonna go ahead and use a Q-tip because I have it available and my spatula is super dirty right now. So I'm gonna pull it out with a Q-tip, put it in my hand and it's, you know, yours might dump out. Um, I actually customized mine a little bit today because, well, I wanted a different product because my face wanted a different product. So I'm actually using something called VitaSkin, but you all are using something completely different. Um, and then I still threw gold dust in mine, so it looks all weird. <laughs> So you have something lovely, I have something lovely, and if you are part of the VIP club, you have the most wonderful stuff going on. If you're part of uh, Inner Circle, you have customized product. So like Pauline, I know that you've got something completely different as well <laughs> going on right now. Yours is looking like a weird fun guy. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna tap it on your skin. All right, here we go. You're gonna tap it. I want you to make sure you tap it we're tapping it. It'll probably mostly go into your face and that is fine. Anything extra, put it on the back of your hands, right? It should go into your face. We don't want you to rub it in too hard. We want you to tap it, okay? And I 
I want you to make sure that you take a few deep breaths and we're gonna get the gold out. All right, don't we look pretty though already? All right, everybody, if you are just following along, make sure you go ahead and get your mask out if you want. Put your mask on, we're about to go into the gold. Okay, most important thing, and if you're just watching because you're like, I wanna watch the gold, hey man, we're about to do that. You can just, I'll be like, oh. So when you get your gold out, I'm gonna get my other sheet of gold out, hold on one second. When you get your gold out, it is important, <laughs> it is really important that you decide what area you're gonna go in first. I like to put it on my cheeks first. I like to go cheeks, forehead, chin. This is the areas I like to do. You want to make sure you pull back your paper. And if you watch the video of me doing this with you guys, um, when you got it via your email, you watched me do it. Try not to be in a windy area because the like literally my air conditioner blew it. And I was like, oh goodness. All right. So try not, try not to blow it too hard, not to be in a windy area. You're going to pull it back. You're going to pull back your paper. And I like to pull back the paper just at the amount that I need. And then you're going to tap it on your skin. And it's going to stay there just like that and then you're going to tap it again you're going to pull it back again you ready we all are ready ready oh yeah and if you get your mouth it's all good and then i usually get my forehead and 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 sometimes you have pieces that are blowing around because the wind is blowing. Okay. And if you got it on your fingers, it's cool. Don't worry. I did too. And you can put it anywhere you want. And if you want to go ahead and get your second piece out, you can. Are we getting our second piece out? Who wants to vote? Second piece, yes or no? Hearts, second piece, yes or no? I have nobody who wants hearts. Okay, nobody wants second piece. Okay, second piece stays down then. Okay, are we ready? First of all, we're gonna be like, oh my God, I've got the gold on. We've got the gold on and oh my gosh, I totally want a picture. Hold on, who wants a picture? Oh my God, so go everybody and just take a picture. You, we all look freaking amazing right now. So if you have any on your fingers, just rub it on your face. It's all gonna be beautiful. We all look amazing. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna rub this in. And it just, it literally is just, we do circles. It's just circles. And it's gonna start to go into the skin. And it shouldn't be hard to rub it in. It should be fairly soft. If you're having trouble, you can wet your fingers a little bit. So if you're if you're dry and you're having trouble getting it in, just wet your fingers a tiny bit. Um, and you can use a little bit more of your serum. I used a different serum. Your serum should be doing the job. But you can use a little bit of your serum to get it on in. But that's what the serum is for, is to help the application process. And it should just rub right into the skin. And you'll notice that you get super duper glowy from the gold. So what does gold do to the skin? It's detoxifying. It's highly anti-aging. It helps the skin be nourished and it heals. Make sure it gets really in there. And yet yeah, sometimes get just in your little bit in your hair. <laughs> So I like to always make sure I put it on the places that I have pigmentation, scarring, problems. That's where I mostly use it. Anywhere else I'm like, pish posh, why would I put it there? Um, and then, you should be like, I'm so glowing. Like you should be like literally like luminescent. And you'll stay that way for like two, three days. It's crazy how like amazing it looks. And then you have a Brazilian Propolis. You should have two of them. Sample, which is one of my favorite products. Go ahead and put that on, unless you're allergic to bees, and then do not. Unless you want to finish with a moisturizer of your own, and you're feel free to, you can use any moisturizer you like to finish. 
that just happens to be a wonderful one and I love it so much. Anti-aging, anti-fungal, anti-viral, anti-germicidal, always fantastic and it's yellow. So that's what this one facial is all about. I am gonna finish with a O2 Mist, which is one of my faves to finish with on this one, as well as my Sculpless Stem Cell, which is what I like. Those are the two products I like to finish with this. And in treatment room, they're usually the ones I finish with. Just really hard to send mists to people. They just are really hard in the mail. They just get everywhere. So, but they are, makes it super anti-aging. So like the 3D Lupin would be a really good one. You could finish with that one, no problem. All right, any questions about how gorgeous we all look? If you're like me and you have half of your product, you could literally do this a week later and reap the benefits of this back to back. These treatments are amazing when done every one to two weeks for a series of like five to six. They re you will see such a lifting and firming. Uh, I love to do this with microcurrent as well. And uh, I've also done this on top of the, um, the myofascial fa facial massage that I do. So those are some of the things that I love. Um, you can actually probably do this treatment as many times as you wanted, but you really only need it once a week because it lasts in the skin for about three days, two to three days. And then you really want the skin to have a little time to rest. So I find that once a week is really all you need. I'd rather do a different, like minor treatment. So I'd like, rather do like a cleansing treatment to prep the skin for this. I like a really deep cleansing treatment, wait two or three days, then do this treatment. Because this treatment really likes a good, healthy, nourished skin to go on top of? That's a great question.